guys, welcome to a new episode of Fishing with Senko Skipper. This week we are in Punta Cana doing a little fishing at our resort. You know, we had a certain idea for this episode and how it was going to go, but circumstances being as they may and events unfolding as they did, we're going to do something a little different this week. Let's go, Aaron. Cut it. Welcome to a new episode. Uh, we're at Grand Paladia Resort in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Today, right now, I'm trying to catch some bait. Don't see any birds or anything like that, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw on a sabiki. I use sabiki to find bait, find fish in places where I've never been before. If it bites on a sabiki, there's fish in there. I'm going to try just using um, just the sabiki and retrieving it as if I was retrieving drop shot. You know, this is what it's like every time we go somewhere. Breeze is blowing, or palm trees, beautiful, fine white sand, and all we can think about is the fish. Got my first fish. I am not sure what it is. It looks kind of like a spot, but it's not really the same color. There's stripes on it going down. So if anyone knows what kind of fish this is, comment below. Alright guys, so I caught a couple fish this morning. Honestly, I expected to catch a lot more. Um, I'm really not sure how many fish are out there. Uh, so what I plan on doing, which is going to be really freaking cool, is I'm going to put some goggles on and swim out and see if I can find any structure or any fish swimming around. And hopefully I'll find a lot of fish out there. I just got to I just gotta know that there's fish there. That will just really help my confidence when I'm fishing later on tonight, tomorrow morning. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be showing you guys some really cool footage. Uh, should be really fun. I'm actually really excited to film this, so stay tuned. I just wanna show you the true light. Let me up and make me feel alright. Cause baby, we are always shining. nothing out here I can't see anything um, I'm at the drop-off see nothing no structure not a good sign might have to find somewhere else to fish but it's not looking good all right so even though there was no fish on the surf when I jumped in and looked um, I'm gonna try again uh, maybe try with some spoons and stuff because I refuse to give up yeah I'm gonna pull in a fish for you guys it's the if it's the if it's the last thing he does it's the last if thing he I dies do. trying just had a question has anyone been to Punta Cana before and had success on the surf um, I don't really know what I'm doing right now I'm just trying everything um, hoping one of these work one of these techniques work so if you guys have been to Punta Cana before and surf fishing was really successful for you um, let me know comment below uh, if it wasn't successful also let me know that would make me feel better so, stay tuned. Take me home tonight. I just want to show you the true light. Let me up and make me feel all right. Cause baby, we are always shining bright. Take me home tonight. I just want to show you the true light. Let me up and make me feel all right. Cause baby,
talk to you guys for a second about what just happened because you might be a little confused because we were a little confused about what happened at first. So, basically, if you look through that clip, and I'm sure that we'll show it to you uh, several times because we watched it probably 25 times, um, you will see that Brendan, as he was looking around and try trying to make sure that he wasn't casting over people and um, hitting anyone, he was looking behind him, and as he was casting, his rod snapped for no reason. It snapped. I heard the crack, and then I, I, I thought that maybe he like snagged someone or something. Yup, just broke my fucking rod. <sighs> I have no other rod here. There's no fishing stores around here. I literally don't even know how I broke it. This is a $400 rod. You think by buying a $400 rod, it wouldn't break on the cast. So right now, I have a few options that I can think of. Option one, there's a bunch of tilapia I found in a pond halfway across the resort. I can fish that with a hand line. Option two, find someone with a boat to take me out. There's a lot of boats that I see, local boats just going in and out. Maybe I can ask one of them to take me. Option three, I'm gonna walk all the way down to the end of the resort. I'm thinking that there's, since there's so many freaking people swimming around here, fish are a little more timid to swim in. I gotta just take a break and really think about what I gotta do. Tomorrow I'm just gonna not think about fishing at all. Hang out with my family, hang out with my girl, enjoy the beautiful resort, and I'll come up with a solution. I'm dying. Why? Because it's hot. I'm so hot, too. So hot. The second you walk outside, you feel like you've you, you, you jumped in a, a warm jar of pee. Throw up a little bit. fish we want to catch. Yeah, well, this is looking this is looking good. It's literally right right over these buoys right here, probably 200 feet out. We're not allowed to swim past that. So we're going to be taking a boat past that right to the reef. This is going to be really fun. All right. So today's the day. Kind of nervous because I get violently seasick. We're on the patch. We're on the patch. But the side effects are uh, you're going to feel really friggin' weird. Look at these beautiful fish we just caught. 
These are amazing colors. They're very slippery. Look at this blue and the yellow. This is a piece of art. Look at this. Look at his teeth. Look at that. <laughs> Does anyone know what kind of fish these are? If you do, please comment below. I'm assuming people in Florida will probably know. So you guys in Florida, come on, tell me what this is. I'll be able to go back out into the sea again. Finally hooked up on some fish. It's about time. Spent the whole week just looking for where I can catch some fish. This didn't go nearly as well as I expected it would. But um, found a good solution, which was ask one of the locals to take us out on their little boat to do some reef fishing, which I thought was awesome. Yeah, I had a, I had a really good time. I had a blast just being out on the water and looking at the fish. If you guys like this kind of um, video, you know, more of a vlog style video, let us know and um, we'll keep doing it. Comment below if you if you guys like it. If you guys don't like it and you want to just see fish and more fishing stuff, let me know. Because we can only improve if you tell us what you like and what you don't like. We're planning on going on another trip in a couple weeks and uh, we want you guys to decide. We're not trying to go too far. We live in Maryland, so any of the surrounding states will be fine. Tell us where you want us to go and we'll try and go there. If you liked our video, please like and subscribe really means a lot to us. Thanks for watching guys. I'm going to enjoy the last day of my vacation now. See ya.